Hello First Church production volunteers. Uh, my name is Carlos Guerra, and um, basically this is a short training for the video process and everything entailed. So let's get started. First step is to uh, get the uh, USB hard drive, which is kept on top of the video computer slash server, and it's a uh, two terabyte hard drive, which basically looks like this. Uh, you would probably want to keep the case up here, otherwise it scraps legs. And you attach the hard drive this way. So now it's ready for attaching to the USB port on the soundboard. So the way it works is uh, you're going to go to home screen, QU drive, soft button, and this is how you're basically going to record and you plug in the hard drive there and the board will start reading it. Um, the reason we record the audio separately is video team understands that when pastor or whoever is preaching asks the congregation to stand, which is right before the altar call, um, we actually stop the video at that point and give the thank you for watching outro. But um, after the altar call song, many times the preacher or pastor will continue speaking, which is relevant to the message. So we wanna have everything recorded so that we can edit it later and include that with a podcast. So you get more with a podcast than you do the video. Once the uh, board reads the uh, hard drive, uh, you'll see the uh, blue uh, elapsed, uh, we'll, we'll go solid blue. Then at that point, you're just gonna push your record button so it'll be flashing. And then once you hit the play button, it'll actually be recording. So at this point, it's gonna record everything, including the music and everything. And whatever the broadcast mix is, is what this hard drive will be recording as a WAV file. So um, there are two scenarios. If the computer is turned completely off, um, as soon as you turn it on, it is uh, set up to open up the programs you need automatically. But um, as in this case, the computer is already on. Um, at the bottom taskbar, on really either screen, um, they both have taskbars. You're going to go to the W on the taskbar, which is Wirecast, and click it. And Wirecast comes up. Um, quick little overview. Um, we have one camera and it's uh, basically facing the platform from where the doors are um, entering the sanctuary. And in Wirecast you have different layers um, for different things. Um, right now I've got it selected on the um, first church First Church watermark, uh, which which can be turned. Hey, how you doing? Which can be turned off. Uh, every layer can be turned off there. Oh, cool! Nice camera. I brought my um, too. <laughs> the next layer is basically the feed from Pro Presenter, so scriptures and whatnot. And then the third layer um, is basically the full size whatever the camera is seeing. Um, I'm controlling the camera with this RCC 1000 uh, controller and uh, basically you can uh, turn it left and pan it left and right. You can zoom, counterclockwise zooms out, clockwise zooms in. Of course up goes up and down goes down. Um, this third layer is uh, basically our full size uh, layer. Um, so the thank you outro is on this layer and it sounds like this and anything that you do you have to go live by hitting this right but right arrow thank you for watching first church charlotte if this video has blessed you please like us or subscribe and share us with your friends to also bless them if you're in the so that's basically how you go live with anything is to hit this 
um, white arrow pointing to the right. Uh, so any change you make, like for instance, if you turn off the watermark to make that go live and make it disappear live, then you hit your arrow or vice versa to bring it back. Um, same with scripture and whatnot. Um, as per the instructions, um, the scripture, the pro presenter layer, we only leave up while the scriptures are being read. Um, if the pastor is referencing that scripture, we leave it on the screen um, until until we see that that changes um, by the pro presenter feed. Then we can um, um, uh, make it disappear. Um, there's other things on this layer. Uh, like videos that are shown during the service, for instance, the uh, the Habitat for Humanity video uh, is on that layer as well because that was shown during a service. Galatians six ten says, as we have opportunity. So so any lit video shown during service, we get a copy of it and add it to this, and uh, delete it afterwards. Okay, at the uh, end of service when um the preacher or pastor asks everyone to stand and prepares for an altar call, um, that's when we go to our thank you for watching uh, video and, and show that uh, to the audience. And that officially is the end of the video feed. Um, the video is fed to, um, to Vimeo and from there it goes to um, different places like our website and um, Facebook and, and things like that. Um, and that's, in a nutshell, basically the whole video process. Of course, you're videoing in live uh, in, in real time, and you're basically giving people the best seat in the house. You are, um, you're being their eyes and showing them what is really relevant to the service. Of course, when um, the pastor is preaching, he is the focal point and you, um, the camera is going to follow him. Um, eventually we're going to have other views uh, so that um, you're not having to follow the pastor every time he moves. Um, but basically the, the, um, the goal is to have cameras that wherever he faces, um, that camera picks him up. So he's always speaking to the audience. Um, that in a nutshell is the video process. It's um, the broadcast sound is another process, which we're not going to go into this video at this time, but um, we try to make the sound as, as good as possible, either for the music uh, mix or pastor preaching and making sure that he is um, heard over everything else, making sure that uh, uh, if the keyboard starts up at the end, um, it's not drowning him out. Um, so the, you know, I'm kind of... Uh, stepping on the toes of broadcast mix here, but it's all relevant. Um, for a good video, you need not only good visual, but you also need good sound. Um, if either one of those are not there, um, it, the video the video experience won't be what it could be. What's the difference between the left screen and the right screen? The left screen is your preview screen, so uh, you can see changes made in real time. Click layers or whatever. And then to go live from the preview screen, you hit your arrow. So any change you made shows live. You click on your layer. The, the layers are basically in order here. You can turn layers on and off with, there's a clear layer icon and then the actual layer is also marked and named. And once you click on it, to go live with that layer to whatever change you made, you hit the live button and it goes live. You have, to be, you have to select the layer you want to edit to make any changes. So for instance, if I want to change the lighting on, on, the, on this view now, I'm just gonna show an example of this. And stick the gamma way up. Which is kind of crazy, but as soon as I make those changes, once I go live, then that's what it's going to look like live. Um, of course, I'm not going to do that because the lighting is not on now, and this is not accurate to what... Do you want me to turn on the lights? 
Sure, if you don't mind. So, whatever changes you make, nothing happens until you go live with the arrow pointed to the right. Okay, now we have light. Okay. Right. So, let's turn this down a little bit. So, basically, um, your your control is on your layers is using your mouse, of course. Um, that's why eventually, uh, once we have other cameras that are being controlled, one person's going to be doing handling the camera control with the controller here, and one person will actually be choosing the layers and turning layers on and off and choosing which view we want at that time uh -huh. right off the board uh -huh. and then we're recording video yeah. okay which the same audio from the board is supplying that as well okay now is that like something that's separate you don't have to put together through that i think you were saying vimeo no or no, no no um what's being sent to vimeo is a full video and audio okay. the reason we record audio separately is for the podcast okay um, gotcha okay and and you'll notice that the podcast has things that the video doesn't because as soon as people stand usually ends the video okay but then pastor sometimes speaks after the altar call yeah. and says some more yeah. well we record everything and then edit it later for the podcast, for the podcast. okay so we give them more okay, okay. <laughs> thank you for watching first church charlotte if this video has blessed you Please like us or subscribe and share us with your friends to also bless them. If you're in the Charlotte, North Carolina area, come worship with us at 4929 North Sharon Amity Road. For information about service times and church ministries, visit us online at firstchurchclt.com. If you would like to help support our efforts, text GIVE to 704-445-5353. We pray God's richest blessings to you. Come, worship with us.